All story here in terms of impact has been the Bahamas. The northwestern Bahamas taking the brunt. And Mass General getting ready to send doctors down to help out is very much needed. So far, at least 30 deaths have been confirmed by Hurricane Dorian. WBZ's Bill Shields has a story there. She's a nurse practitioner at Mass General, but Lindsay Martin is drawn to help those who are in dire need. What drives me is to go to those places and help assist them so that they can recover and they can resume their normal lives as they were or as normal as they can ever get back to. She's part of Mass General's global disaster response team and this is where they're headed tomorrow, the Bahamas. I think that what we're really going to see is a lot of people who have chronic medical illness such as diabetes or hypertension who've lost medications um, and have not been able to access their doctors. We've all seen the devastation and it is just that. Thousands of people there now have nothing, no food or water, even a roof. So Mass General's team will go into the hardest hit areas and put their training to work. Their first job is to save lives. We start to see some communicable diseases, so respiratory illnesses, diarrheal illnesses. We're going to be seeing people who haven't had enough to drink in terms of water. So how long will the team be in the Bahamas? A minimum of 14 days, but given the conditions, they're prepared to stay a lot longer. At Mass General, I'm Bill Shields, WBZ News.